What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player pack review. So today a lot of people have been asking me about AC Milan. We are going to be doing AC Milan. Now I have not bought this pack on my main account but I have played with a lot of these players. I've tested out a good few of these players. Not them all but we have tested out Tenali, Hernandez, uh, Rafael Lau, Tamori, uh, Calabria, Diaz, Giroud, Ibrahimovic and Mike Mignan in goals or Mignan in goals. So I think the only two I haven't really tested out across different accounts um, is Kalalu and I would say Benacar as well there in midfield. So yeah, we have got a fairly good knowledge of these cards, but as you can expect with the premium versions of the cards, lads, these are some incredible cards that when you train them up, they can be really beastly. So if you are looking for a if you're looking for a kind of an already built up team and you're new to the game and you have not been able or you did not download eFootball with eFootball 22 and you're looking for a, a kind of a team that you can compete with straight away, um, it is, as we said back here, it is 900 coins, which is about 10 euro or maybe about like eight pounds. And you can also get Inter. I will be doing Inter as well, but let me know if you guys want that. I do plan on doing it. Um, but yeah, for AC Milan, I think the pick of the cards are probably the three featured guys that they have there front and center, which are um, Hernandez, Lau, and Tanati. So we are going to leave those to last, and we're going to do a bit of a comparison on eFootballDB.com. Obviously, eFootballDB.com is still being updated, so some of the prices are still being updated. Uh, some of the player levels and stuff, obviously, it was a huge update for eFootball 2023. But let's crack on with it. I say, as I said, we will leave those guys to last. So we'll leave um, Tanali, Hernandez, and Lau to last, and uh, we'll do the rest of the players. Because I think a lot of these guys, obviously, they've got high levels. But if you take somebody like Brahim Diaz, who I've actually uh, looked at before, he's a really good player. I know a lot of people like him and he is a really nice attacking midfielder he does have a lot of player skills i i look for if i'm looking for an attacking midfielder i do look for that kind of creative playmaker or else a whole player but i look for when i'm looking for stats i look for balance dribbling and low pass and he is a little bit low in the low pass pardon the pun but he does have a nice balance there of speed acceleration and of course that offensive ball control and dribble and stats as well tight possession is not so important i don't think for this guy because if you are going to be playing him as an amf or an ss i think you're more about linking the play you know what i mean like tight possession to me is more about holding the ball up front and like bringing players into the game which are back to the ball now i could be wrong but that's how, kind of how i play uh with tight possession it always helps that if you are able to get tight possession with a player it doesn't necessarily have to be all your players that have it you know what i mean you need the balance there so for Diaz again he is a very very strong player he's got 26 levels as you can see there guys and he has got a really nice player render as well he looks really nice there um he's only 22 as well so if you are looking for a ute team squad build up he would be a nice creative player to get as well so yeah i mean again trickster amazing run acceleration is good balance is good I just think that there's a lot of other alternatives there for quite cheap that you could buy. Um, and if you check out some other videos, you would probably see there. For the likes of Pedri, you know, Pedri just kind of destroys his card in, in pretty much every asset. So moving on to Calabria, again, we have this issue of, yes, he does have A rating, and he also does have unwavering form, which is brilliant to have his form arrow up more often than not, which, of course, he then gets a boost of a plus 3, 4, or 5 to his core stats when you are in game you can check that in game plan if you are new to the game i advise you guys to go back and check out some of my earlier videos as i will be updating those as we go along with eFootball 23 but this guy is got has got like he's kind of like a throwback um a classic pez right back or fullback i would say he's he's no excellent stats like his base stats he has 27 levels that he goes up top but as is the problem with these 27 levels, because it is a low enough 27 levels where he'll get about, what, about 60 points to progress uh, with the training. He does a quick counter of 80, so you don't need to touch that. But you're not going to be able to get his passing, his ball control, and his defensive awareness and speed. You're not going to be getting, getting all those stats souped up with the 27 levels. So for me, I think there is better options there with him. But to be honest, if you are going to buy this AC Milan pack, 
and you train up all these players, this is going to be a beastly squad that you will have. You will have a really, really nice, solid starting 11. And I think the only weak area that they have is up front because you don't really have pace up front unless you're going to be playing Lau through the middle, which we'll get to later on in the game. So again, we have two DMFs in this squad as well. We've got Tenali and we've got Benekar. But Benekar can, Benekar can play actually centre midfield as well, which is where I play him because he has got that low pass ball control and that acceleration balance mix he's also got fairly nice aggression lads and as you can see here he does have standard form but he is on a rating and he does have a lot of player skills as well such as track back interception slide and tackle and one of my favorites which is fighting spirit and one touch pass so the two of them are really key if you are looking for an orchestrator which he is Again, he's a really good player. All of these players that you get are ready-made players. Like Once you train them up and you put a bit of time into them, they are beasts. But I think that the balance of the game there is, which we'll get to in a second on eFootballDB, the balance of the game there is uh, the fact that you can, you can genuinely get players really cheap to kind of like overpower um, you know, and stack up stat for stat, attribute for attribute. And then, of course, it comes into different variables that you like, whether it's a player that you like, whether it's a player that you play well with, whether they have a different dribbling style, and so on and so on. Tomori is up next. Now, this guy is actually a bit of a, I would say, a bit of a beast, right? He's only got 21 levels, which I think they've deliberately done to balance him because he is a monster of a center back, right? On the surface, he looks calm and ready no on the surface he looks like he's just like genuinely a normal kind of center back he's got b rating he doesn't have unwavering form he's only got standard form which again i don't really worry about but he has got some excellent player skills that you need in the center back especially if you're playing a 4-4-2 or a modified uh you know three at the back if you want to be a bit more versatile this guy is one of the guys that you could have he's not going to be you know, one of the best center backs that you ever buy. There is better players than him. And I think with the update, the fact that they've put a lot of emphasis on defensive awareness, I would like if I was buying a center back for him to be a little bit higher in the defensive awareness. If he, if you're looking for an end game center back, you know what I mean? If you're looking for your Van Dykes and your Varanes and those type of players, Marquinhos, Marquinhos and Sergio Ramos and those types of guys. So, um, or up in Meccano or whoever. But he does have a nice balance, again, of speed and acceleration. He's very mobile, and he can play right back as well. So he is definitely worth training up, in my opinion. Next up, we have got Kulalu. So again, similarly, these guys are very, very similar. Uh, you know, they are kind of both destroyer type center backs obviously that are going to look to be very mobile be very versatile not the best in the air you can see there that they've you know got both got fairly bad heading stats compared to some of the beastly center backs that are in the game and they're also not the tallest i mean kalulu is a very small center back in terms of some of the beasts that are out there if you're going to be coming up against ronaldo or you're going to be coming up against Lewandowski, which a lot of people are now using because the game is kind of slowed down a little bit but he's got really high speed. I mean, you can get his speed up to 90, no problem, as well as defensive awareness and his tackling up to the mid-80s. But again, I just find, I think you're going to have to upgrade his position if you do buy this squad. That's just personally my opinion on it. Giroud and Ibrahimovic, I'm going to cover very quickly and I'm going to cover together. As I always say, lads, with, with, with these reviews, right? This is just very generic uh, reviews of the players for the average person, for the newcomer. I know people like that have bought Giroud or that have bought Ibrahimovic, or that have bought Lewandowski, and they are able to play better with those players than, you know, playing with Romario, or Romanegi, or Eto, or one of the traditional kind of pick-up-and-play players, you know what I mean? Like, if I give somebody that is of a lesser skill a team with Mbappe, Son, and Romario up front, and, you know, I give him the same team of Giroud, Ibrahimovic, and Brahim Diaz up front, it's easier to play with Mbappe, Son, and you know Messi and Neymar and all those guys up front that you're going to have that pace you're going to have that power I'm not saying the game is going to win you games by itself but it does help to have those fast players that are very pick up and play if you are a beast at the game or if you were a better than average player you know you can turn these players you can turn Giroud into an absolute monster and he can bag serious goals for you you know what I mean but for the average player they do need a combination in my opinion of having those stats that kind of stand out that make it a little bit more pick up and play for them to be able to just you know do exactly what it says on the tin if you buy Mbappe you know what you're getting you're getting pace you're getting goals that's it if you buy Giroud you do have to alter your play style you do have to be a little bit of a more skilled uh, you know player that you're able to kind of bring Giroud into the play because you can't just pass him the ball like you would to Eto'o 
or a Mario or you know somebody like that that's a really fast mobile center forward so for Giroud there he is got a really nice card he does have the quick counter of 80 as well they all have but Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic and him King Zlatan they both have that issue of no speed so if you are going playing these guys I would definitely be keeping one through the middle I would have two really fast wingers I'd have Raphael Lau on one then I'd buy another right winger uh, to have really good pace and I'd be putting crosses in you know fin like really powerful crosses in into Ibrahimovic bringing him into the play and then I'd swap out Giroud for a sub maybe 70 minutes in that would be my tactic if I was de determined to use this AC Milan squad and not touch it too much so last up we have before we get to the three main boys we have Mike Mignan I think that's his first name as I always call him Mike Mignan for some reason He's got 17 levels. You can train him up quite good. His reflexes can go to about 91 or 92 before you need to put up the rest. But again, his goalkeeper awareness, his catching, his parrying, you're going to have to pick your poison into which one you don't upgrade. So if you take a look at Donnarumma, I mean, Donnarumma, I think, is end game. I think he is the best keeper in the game by a mile. I've heard a lot of people say Allison. I've heard a lot of people say Neuer. I still think that Donnarumma is the GOAT of goalies apart from Oliver Kahn in the game. And Kahn is just a cheat code. So last but not least, we have our three main boys. Now we're going to go over to eFootballDB in a second. But we are going to first take a look at Hernandez. I think Hernandez has probably been... He's kind of like the Wilson Barrios of this year's game. I think he's been one of the best players. You know, Kante was it like in, I think, Pez 20, 2019 or Pez 2020. It was like Kante, Barrios, Romanegi was 2021. You always have OP players in it. I think Romario and Vieira are unbelievable this year again. But Hernandez is right there. Every time I come up against him, he gives me a hard time. And it's strictly because of his speed. He is an absolute rocket but he's also got a nice height. He's also got some really nice stats here. He doesn't have unwavering form, which was the only downgrade on this card and on this actual player. But he's got so many nice player skills. He's also got speeding bullet, long ranger and incisive run. And he is the perfect balance between attack and defense because he's a fullback finisher. He'll be able to get involved in the attack as well. He's not really a liability such as, let's just say, Roberto Carlos, who is just, even when you put anchoring on him, He's just rearing to go. He's like a greyhound in the traps. Just cannot wait to get out and just lep up, lep up the field and go crazy. So I think Hernandez is an absolute beast. If we go over to eFootball DB, which I should have up here, we will now see that Hernandez, right? Forget about this, the ratings and the pricing and all that. It will, be, it will need to be slightly updated. But this is the maxed out version of Hernandez. So he's got 30 levels. And as you can see, he goes up to 94 speed, 89 acceleration, 80 offensive awareness. But we also have 83 defensive awareness, defensive engagement, 81, 83 tackle and 81 aggression, 90 stamina, absolutely incredible his low pass is 70 77 dribbling he's a 94 overall player um absolutely incredible but as i said to you it's not all about buying the premium packs and stuff right if we take a look at Jao Cancelo his basic standard card right and forget about the price he has gone up eFootball DB will be getting a big update on that he does have 27 levels to go so we can get him to 88 and 89 for his pace 83 offensive awareness 75 defensive awareness if you are looking for a more attacking base player and you don't have Roberto Carlos I think Casello is an absolute beast of a left back as well as an option he also has three forms he's got unwavering form 92 stamina 82 balance 86 lofted pass and way better passing and dribbling in terms of actually bringing the ball up for counter attacks so again it's just not all what it looks like sometimes you have to delve into the attributes and the actual individual stats to see what type of formation you want to play what type of play style you want to play and what type of player you are what suits you do you want a defensive minded left back or do you want a, like a really attacking left back that shoves up kind of left wing back that's up to you but i do think that hernandez is a very 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 good pickup and play you know beast end game style left back right if you don't have carlos or you don't have alfonso davies or somebody like that next up we have got liao so we're going to go back here for a second obviously and check out liao uh rafael so again this guy can play center forward or left wing i think he is probably one of the best best cards in the game at the moment i think that the ac milan pack is, is probably worth it for him alone it's similar to the neymar and messi packs look at his stats in a second when we take a look at this right he's got everything he still only has standard form which is kind of the killer 
and he is on D rating, but I expect that to change, obviously, with his standard form, um, or not his standard form, but his rating, but he has got super sub, he's got a bag of player skills under his hood, and he has also got speeding bullet, incisive run, amazing run, but where it gets interesting is if we go back to eFootballDB here, we've got 29 levels to play around with, and he can go up to a 93 speed, 94 acceleration, 92 dribbling, so we've got speed, acceleration, and dribbling, 93, 94, 92, 90 balance that is a huge stat to have if you are a winger because if you don't do not have Neymar and you don't want to buy Neymar he's too costly he is probably as good as it can get for uh, a left winger right he can play absolutely unbelievable for you if you train him up right now he's also got a nice height there as well which is a very interesting stat for him because he'll be able to offer you something different compared to some of the smaller base players um that are able to get up and down the pitch he is going to be a guy that you can kind of put in center forward with a sub tactic and again i might do a video on that of how to confuse your opponent and stuff let me know in the comments below if you'd like that Next up, we have got Asane, who we're we going to be comparing to Liao. He's not in this pack, but I'm just going to show you guys 25 levels for Sane. He is an option that, obviously, the price is different. We need to change that. But he is an option if you do not want to buy this AC Milan pack. This guy has got unbelievable stats. 92, 92, 92, 87 ball control, 89 tight possession, 91 kick power, and 80 balance. He is an absolute beast. So give him a look if you are not interested in getting the AC Milan pack. And even with Lao, basic card is standard card it has gone up to 150,000 gp now i think instead of the price that's here um but again you can get him up to a 92 overall and the only real difference between this card and this card is the finishing that's the only thing there that brings it up the finishing and the offensive awareness um are lower on this card so that's what the two overall points kind of give you up and obviously the balance and the stamina as well is going to be slightly better on this card which you can expect it's a premium pack or it's a premium version of the card Last but not least, we have got Tenali, right? So I'm going to stick on eFootballDB here. We've got 30 levels. This, again, is probably one of the best cards. I mean, I genuinely think, right, Tenali and Lau are probably, and Hernandez are probably worth the AC Milan pack alone if you are looking to have a god squad. Like, if you're looking to have an unbelievable squad or else you're looking for just a couple of players to improve your squad and you're starting off and you want a ready-made squad absolute unbelievable look at those stats he doesn't be let down in the defensive awareness again if you want to play Tenali as a cmf kind of like bringing the ball forward just upgrade his speed and his acceleration a little bit instead of his defensive capabilities but if you are looking for somebody that is just an absolute rock at the back for quite cheap obviously the pricing is a little different now but again you could get somebody like declan rice you could get barrios you could get somebody like that um gonzalez nico gonzalez sergio busquets depending on your budget but yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. It's a bit of a longer review. There's a lot to get through here because it is a premium one. And I wanted to go in as much detail as possible. The next episode probably won't be as long as this. But I hope you guys stayed listening, stay entertained. And obviously, I do appreciate anyone that subscribes and uh, spread the word. We are trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. Massive giveaway when we do that. Let me know if you want the Interpack as well reviewed. I hope it'll give you a lot of thought um things to think about there when you're building a squad so yeah i'll be back quite soon hope you enjoyed that one peace